If you think that calling yourself an experienced radio electronics amateur is a clear exaggeration, but you still choose to perform some small repairs and solve some creative tasks by yourself, you're definitely the soldering iron. There are plenty of those devices out there which complicates the choice. What I suggest to you, if you don't use the soldering iron that often, pick a simple classical option, like this ST30A for example. It comes with the simplest resistance heater, which is made of a high resistivity wire. Make a discharge is used to prevent failure of the device. The voltage is 30 watts, which is quite enough for the majority of household operations, like working with wires. Besides, this solid iron supports operation with both thin wires, like this one, for example, with a section of less than 0 0.1 square, and thick wires of up to 1 square in their section, or even more. The soldering tip is universally cone-like, which enables operation not only with wires, but also with circuit boards. The device can be used to conveniently solder and unsolder components on circuit boards. This soldering iron is most likely going to be enough for most household operations. It's worth mentioning the device's soldering tip has nickel-plated coating. So when you first turn it on, I recommend that you do the tinning in the following way. After you turn the device on, don't leave it out in the open air until it's fully heated. Instead, before that, put it into the uh, colophony and heat further inside the colophony, simultaneously injecting solder. This will help you to quickly tin the soldering tip and increase the durability and quality. If you can't exactly call yourself an active radio amateur who uses soldering equipment every day, you don't necessarily uh, have to have an expensive and complicated soldering station home. This simple soldered iron might be exactly what you need.